What's up guys? Welcome to another Halloween tutorial for you. I am so excited for this because this is my very first time with kind of like gore SFX makeup um, and I really really like the way that this turned out especially for my very first time. Uh, so yeah if you guys want to see how I created this missing eye look then just keep watching. Okay, so starting off this look, I went ahead and I blocked out my eyebrows. The reason I did this is because when working with latex, you do not want to get latex in your hair. It will pull it out and it will hurt really bad. So as a precaution, I went ahead and blocked my eyebrows. You can also use Vaseline, which I did put that on my eyelashes to protect my eyelashes. Now I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Bean and I'm going to go ahead and draw out where I want my hole to be. You don't want this too big because you do want to keep this realistic looking so keep it fairly small. Next, I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and I'm going to pack this all around the black area. The latex I will be using is from Nigel's Beauty. Uh, this is the Nigel Latex. It does have a less strong of a smell when it comes to the ammonia that's inside latex. So this works really, really well for me. Um, and then I'm going to start applying tissue and you want to use one sheet. So take a tissue, split it in half and use one sheet and we're going to start gluing this around the eye. Now that the tissue is down, I'm going to go ahead and take a cotton ball, unravel it, and we're going to begin sticking cotton over our tissue, creating a new layer.
there are no mistakes so I did not intend for this little string to be here but we're definitely going to roll with it now why this side is drawing I'm gonna go ahead and use a hairpin and kind of make flaps on the dry side Because latex does dry down a little bit of a yellow shade, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and we're going to paint over this. it's time to color so I'm going to start with this pink shade and we're going to just start creating this really irritated look then uh, that's going to be our base shade On top of that, I'm going to take the Morphe palette, and this shade is a little bit more of a like burgundy red brown color, um, and I'm just going to start applying this using tapping motions.
Now I'm going to take just a brown shade and kind of deepen this up. Now for my favorite part, I am using the Ben Nye Scar Blood. Um, this is actually like a jelly type of blood. It's really, really fun to work with, easy to use. I do wish I would have purchased just a little bit of liquid blood so I could have it dripping, but I was able to pan it out a little bit and make it look um, like it's smeared. So this was just a lot of fun. Uh, for any spaces that I did not get any color into, I stuck gobs of blood inside so it made it look like it was getting scabbed. It was just Oh, so cool.
obviously because by now I would not be in really good shape. I am taking a nude lipstick. I'm using the shade uh, Mannequin from Jeffree Star and I'm applying that. And then I'm gonna go in with like this turquoise blue shade that to make it look like my lips have changed color. Now I'm just taking the black shadow and kind of dipping it all around the blood area. Alright guys, so that is it for this missing eye tutorial. This was fun to do. Can't wait. I got more Halloween tutorials coming your way, so make sure you guys are subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified of my next video, and I will see you next time. Bye.